Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome to Bloodborne. Uh, I hope that the audio sounds okay. I hope that the visuals uh, look okay. I hope that this stream works. We've had some major tech issues in the last hour. I'm streaming from software that I never use, which is why we don't have a death counter. Uh, I'm going to have to keep track of the death counter manually. I have a post-it note here. Or we could just not add him to the death counter. I don't know. Just not add him to the death counter. Audio is kind of loud. That's that screen. I'll get into the game and then hopefully it'll sound a little bit more quiet. That screen is just loud as hell. Hopefully. But let me know if it, it remains loud. Um, welcome back to Bloodborne. Uh, yeah. Hi, YouTube. This might be the final Bloodborne uh, stream. Like we need a death counter here, right? <laughs> I think this is going to be the final Bloodborne stream. Yeah. Uh, I think we're that close to beating the game. Just kidding. I'm in that, I'm in that stage where I'm just going to start saying that every single stream until we get there. Every single stream until we get there. Welcome back. Uh, what happened last time in Bloodborne? Actually, before we go any further, just a reminder, this is a blind playthrough. And uh, I would prefer no tips or tricks or backseating or information about the game or any of that jazz. Um, yeah. At this stage, I think most of you guys know that. But My questions are rhetorical. My, I feel like I need a blind playthrough rap. My questions are rhetorical. My skill is theoretical. Um... I'm blind to the lore, not blind in my eyes. Something, something, something about constantly missing. Constantly uh, messing up. Anyways, what happened last time in this game? We, d we beat the DLC, so that's exciting. Um, we then beat a boss called the One Reborn. Then we beat a boss called... Uh, Mikolash. Oh my god, wait. I don't know that this is going to work, but I have something to show you. I hope this works. Did you guys hear that? I have no idea if that showed up. Anything? Shit, it doesn't work. Never mind. Okay, never mind. That's a joke that'll have to happen another day. You guys can't hear my uh, soundboard. Um, That's just about par for the course for today's... Uh there's tech issues. Uh, so, we've been exploring. <laughs> you guys can just imagine what soundboard I pressed. Y you may not know what I actually pressed. We've been exploring the Nightmare of Mensis. We've gotten to Murgo's Loft. At the end of the last stream, we uh, killed a bunch of hollows. Wait, wait. We killed a bunch of winter lanterns, um, including a very large one. Um... It was divine. I didn't make the divine noise. Ooh, Mars, I really like that quote. Uh, two and a half deaths to Mikolash. What happened there? Uh, I had some... Speaking of tech issues, my computer crashed in the middle of the fight. I mean, my PlayStation crashed. The fuck? Who's doing that? Wait, what? My computer broke, which is the problem that happened. We don't talk about that point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My computer broke. Uh, yeah, exclamation <laughs> tech. Okay, so these are the dog, crow, crow dogs. Cat dog, crow dog, cat dog. I'm gonna kill them real quick. There's a baby crying. Oh my god, chat, you guys wanna hear a story? I've been sitting on this story for like two days. I have a funny story to tell you. And by funny, I mean horrifying. I feel like Bloodborne these days is a. Uh, is me doing a little bit of exploring and also me telling you about uh, funny stories from my life. You guys, uh, you guys want to hear one? Exclamation Joyce, by the way. We're going to go that way. Last stream, we uh, discovered all these elevator systems. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. All right. Did we determine if this works? Not currently operable. Okay. So, uh, recently I went to see the most recent... I went to see the most recent Wes Anderson movie, right? I go to this theater uh, with some friends. Uh, two friends, Best Man Nick. Uh, Best Man Nick and his girlfriend show up before me. They save me a spot, and then there's one more friend coming. So I walk into the theater. 
Two friends to my left already sitting down. I take the third seat. We have a sweater on the fourth seat. My friend Joe is going to show up and watch the, uh, watch the movie with us. Joe arrives with Joe's sister, which is great. Uh, I like Joe's sister. It's fantastic. Uh, fantastic person. She's very sweet, very nice. Uh, the good news is we have one saved seat. We also have an empty seat. And then there is a couple. So there are two seats. Uh, after that, there is a woman and a man. Um, they look nice, but we haven't spoken to them, etc. My friend Joe, it's like it's like a minute before the before the uh, a minute before the final the previews have been the the ads have been running. The previews are about to start. Uh, Joe's Joe and Joe's sister are walking up. Joe's sister steps first. Nope, nope, that's not true. Joe steps first into the aisle. Joe makes his way towards us. I start to say something about how, hey, we've ha we have two seats here. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, I pick up the sweater and I move it. Joe gets right in front of the couple. And he bends over. He we have these two empty seats. He, he leans over to the woman who is holding an enormous bag of popcorn. And he grabs a piece of popcorn and he puts it in his mouth. The woman is staring at her popcorn. Joe has just reached in, grabbed a piece of popcorn, put it in his mouth. Uh, I start sweating. I immediately start cold fucking sweating. The woman, after two seconds, looks up at Joe. Joe, while chomping on the piece of popcorn, is looking down at Joe, or at the woman. Joe reaches down, grabs another piece of popcorn, puts it in his mouth. The woman says, do I know you? Ah, fuck! The woman says, do I know you? And it's at this moment that I felt my soul leave my body. After about, my mind is going through, my mind is going through all of the options. I'm, I'm about to say to this woman, I'm sorry, this is my friend Joe. Uh, Joe doesn't often come out in public because he has sort of a, 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 some issues with personal boundaries. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm about to switch spots with Joe so that Joe doesn't have to sit next to the woman he just accidentally ate some popcorn from. I'm considering leaving the fucking theater. My heart is beating so fast, I feel as if I am personally about to have a panic attack. They're staring at each other. Five seconds pass in which I can feel my heart beat 20 times. And they both start laughing. He knew her. She knew him. I and Nick knew not, did not know the lady. We did not know who the person was. I about punched Joe. I have never been so fucking mad. But the problem was I also was so panicky that I literally, I was like, Joe, I'm going to have a heart attack, dude. You can't do that. You can't do that. I was so ready to... Oh, my God. I'm getting shot at. Joe is a menace. Joe is a menace. Uh, he's, like, the nicest guy ever. I was like, oh, my God. This poor woman. Poor Joe. Joe's going to be beating himself up about this for, for days to come. I'm going to be, like living this moment in my head for the next five days being like should i have said something should i have could i have said something early to prevent it what what could i have done fucking joe so, that's the story of how i uh social anxiety nearly gave me a, a panic attack in um asteroid city okay we have a down and an up isn't that crazy also shout out to the woman who took a solid 10 seconds to give the satisfaction of laughing and letting him off the hook and in the process gave me a heart attack. This one? Oh, you're a nasty pig. What the fuck? Ooh. Can I tell you a similar story? Of course, please do. I would love to hear it. Please let me not be the only one inside of this, uh, this situation. I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about that during the whole movie. It took me a solid, it took me 10 minutes of the, of the movie to have my heartbeat return to what felt like normal.
Okay, so we can go off this ledge, and I kind of think we should. Something over there, too. Interesting. How do I get there? Hmm. If, is this going to be the time, the story of the time I ate your popcorn? If so, let it go. Okay, so that's just, this is the exit for whatever that is. Oh, is it going to take me to jump? Exclamation Bloodborne? Nope, exclamation Soulsborne? Was the movie good? The movie was really good. High velocity. Uh, movie was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Chamos just spammed two eye emojis and then a nose emoji. And then two eyes emo eye emojis. Pig nose emoji, I should say. Okay, let's go this way first. Has anyone read Hitchhiker's Guide uh, books? I know at least one person in the in the chat who has. The biscuit story. Remind me of the biscuit story. Okay, there's something big over there. Big old. Oh, hello. Who said ring raids earlier? These do look like ring raids. They also hit like a truck. I like their uh, katana-like blades. No! If you kill me, I swear to God. At least they're kind of glass cannony. They don't have a ton of health. It's in the fourth book. I think I've read all of them, Mars. I think I've read all five of them. I'll read it later, though. I'm pretty sure I've read every uh, Hitchhiker's book. Um, but yeah, I'll read it later if you want. Uh, I was at the grocery store at the checkout with $100, $300 worth of groceries. Pierre meets me there as I'm checking out. Pierre, Cable's husband. He walks up to me and says, Hey, beautiful, if I pay for your groceries, will you come home with me? To the astonishment of everyone with an earshot, I say, Yes, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> Pierre! I just learned something about Pierre right there. What kind of person Pierre is. Oh, it's a fucking pig. Fucking pig. That's great. There's too many ring raids. Too many ring raids! I'm gonna die. Hear me out. Spin to win. Spin to win. He did pay for the groceries, so I went home with him. I was gonna say, did you let him pull out the card? Now you have me doubting myself, Mark. Maybe I haven't read it. Now I need to look it up. Okay, we're on like so I think we're in sort of a back alley situation. Come here, pig. Oh, that's a couple pigs. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. This seems fine. Ah! This is not fine. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I have no health. No. What a what a treat this is. Rally? Rally? Please kill one. Woo. Welcome back to Bloodborne. How's the volume for you guys, by the way? The stream in any way look funky? I'm, I'm not exactly looking for something to worry about. I'm just uh, trying to make sure it's all good. Those, those pigs do make me feel a little funky on the inside, you know? Sounds fine. Seems good. Okay. Great. Ooh, I should probably try recording still, just in case. Nope. Okay. Can't record anything. That was my sound. Sorry.
Hope I didn't break anything. <laughs> <sighs> oh, lots of lots of lots of cold blood there. Okay. Ryan, you're knee deep in shats right now. I mean echoes. I know. I've got sixty thousand and I've got a million cold blood too. I made vodka do the thing I do, which is uh I'm also lost. Wait, this is where I what came from. I'm not lost. I'm found. I'm found. I found it. Those are not doors, so that's good. Hi, Julia. How's it going today? Just the chill sounds of Mark's feet slapping on the uh, concrete. Cool. So this is just a backwards way to here. Cool. There was still that item back there, though, right? Let's... Okay. I'm going backwards, but it's okay. I think there was still an item this way. I think I have to still Soulsborne jump. I don't know if we should back up and uh, go spin our echoes or if we should just continue forward. Chad, I put it in the title today. Nope, I can't jump there. Okay. But I don't know the actual answer. How uh, how close? To, oh, I can just run around. How close to beating this game do you think we are? In terms of percentages. Front seat question. That's not the right emote. There we go. Is today the day? 90%? Today the day? 95? Wait, we could actually beat the game today. Julia says, not too bad, just tired. What are we doing on Bloodborne today? I'm talking about a panic attack I had in a movie theater the other day. And also, uh, we're killing some nasty 12-eyed Charlotte pigs. Uh, uh, Charlotte's Web pigs. I think we might beat the game today. Didn't realize you were so close to the end. I know, I'm gonna have to take your sword. Take your sword away here in a second, Carly. Get uh, get your mod powers in while you still can. Huh? Hi, EA Aurora. Uh, recently found your YouTube and binging some of your series. Glad I could catch a stream. Welcome in! Exclamation uh. YTQ. What uh, what have you been watching? Do you like pineapple on pizza? Okay, so she's crying. What's the deal? I just walk behind you. Is that the elevator? Hi. I'll be back to you. Taxi, thank you for the gifted sub. Holy cow! Taxi gifting subs on their birthday is too sweet. Too sweet. I think this is the elevator. We'll write it down real quick. No, it goes up. The baby crying? Taxi, thank you for the gifted subs. What the heck? Thank you. I'm getting really nervous, guys. Oh, you have blood on you. What's with all the blood? Exclamation blood? Your hands are tied? You also have something around your neck. Should I should I immediately run up and attack her? I should probably talk to her, right? <laughs> Holy shit, Pexy. <laughs> bruh, exactly, bruh. Give her the gifted sub to Sari. Plastic Satan, E. Aurora, and Sari all get subs. Thank you. You not have dialogue? The one person? You're crying facing this way. Oh my god, Pexy's on a rampage. Thank you, Chamos. Oh my god. Oh my god, they don't they don't stop coming and they won't stop coming. There's the elevator. Thank you. Thank you, Pexy. 
we get a flood of little in the hearts, I guess you guys already did, but still, thank you. Velocity as well. I found the elevator. I'm also wondering if there's something secret here, too. Doesn't really look like it. Okay. Um. What if this is the end of the game, guys? I don't think it is. We still have to beat Abriatus. Oh, a little chesty. A little chesticle. Thank you, Pexy. It's very sweet of you. Yosefka's blood vial is here. What? Should there be... That's a rhetorical question. Should there be a lore consideration there? Why would Yosefka's be here? Huh. Hi, Gabe. How's it going? Hi, Liz. Chad, it doesn't look like I can actually talk to her. I want to. But if I can't talk to her with my mouth... Okay. I thought maybe she would drop something, which would give me some lore. I promise I'm not a terrible person. I thought maybe she would drop something, which would give me some lore. the same place that wasn't very milk toast of you killing npcs again i tried to talk to this one first i'm starting to think the crying baby might be up here pexy thank you for gifting a sub to gabe mark's on a villain arc have you seen the shit that's fucking happened to him hey i think i found the baby if some if anyone deserved to have a Villain arc, it would be Mark. And also, I don't think that it's necessarily villainy. This is a boss battle. It sort of looks like a mausoleum almost in certain types of the architecture. A bunch of dead bodies here in this pit in the middle. We're in the open air. Ooh, you want to see a neat effect? The fact that the clouds are swirling against each other, the two layers of clouds rolling against each other. It's pretty cool. Okay. Crying baby. Mm, Cutscene. Oh! Oh, look at all the jewelry. Okay, so this is a boss battle. Murgo's wet nurse. Murgo's wet nurse. Oh, the music is so fucking creepy. I don't like that. All of my, uh, can I get an RIP uh, for oh, my echoes, which are definitely just gonna be gone forever. RIP to these, uh, these echoes. How do I dodge through that? Spin to win? Yeah! Another spin to win. It's a whirling dervish of blades. There's six sets of blades, plus two arms that I think will probably grab me. One hitbox. Live by the wind, uh, spin to win. Die by the spin to win. Got a heal. Good damage there. Is this a ranged attack? Oh, it's dark as shit! Ah! This is a nightmare. Ah! I don't like it. The blindness effect is really cool though. Holy shit. Ah, 
many blades, too many blades, too many blades. Fucking hit her, Mark. Jesus Christ. Not good, not good, not good. Fruit Ninja out here. Go! Then win. Hit once. Go! Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. This is the most muted, understated music. That's not a good dodge. That's a terrible dodge. That's a good dodge. Heal? I can heal. We got a lot of damage in there. Let's see what phase two is like. Good dodge. That's going to do some major damage. Give me a visceral. Okay. What was the name of that? Uh, what was the name of that uh, product that was sold on those like uh, those like sixty-minute TV shows where they just sell you an item for sixty straight minutes, where you, where you chopped fruits up like crazy? It sliced fruits uh, all the time. The chopper. This is the chopper. Slap chop. This is slap chop. Okay, the blindness effect is so cool. We're over halfway. I mean, under halfway. We got the dot. Oh, there's two of you! No, it's just... ah! This is Murgo's wet nurse and Murgo's dry nurse. I can't tell if the other one of you is also real as in, like, takes damage or... No, you're not. Doesn't appear. No, you do! Die, I'm gonna die! Blocks, it blocks the like. I think it. I think it deals damage. It looks like it is. Oh, fuck me! That's too many blades. As a person who hates blades, this is hell. True, my one true phobia is blades. Ah! So we have found. We have found the the boss that is truly. My nightmare. Spin to win. Spin to win. Spin to win. First try, though. First try for sure. Now that I've said that, we're fucked. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. We can do this. We can do this. I have a question about uh, about syntax. Syntax of the phrase wet nurse. Does the wet nurse belong to the baby or to the mother? Murgo is the baby? Our first one tap, baby. Let's go. The bar is still there. Do I have to kill the baby? Where is the baby? Oh. There's the second one-third of an umbilical cord. The second third. Whoo! My guess would have been that, syntactically speaking, parenthesis S wet nurse would be the baby... The wet nurse is, it belongs to the baby. However, a part of me was like, the person who hires the wet nurse, the person whose nursing is potentially being replaced, you know, like replaced by the wet nurse, maybe? But my gut told me baby. So Murgo is probably the baby. One third of an umbilical cord. That's exciting. That's exciting.
Just a reminder, chat. Uh, if you have any uh, comments about backseating or anything, uh, those would go in the uh, or comments about what I did or didn't do or whatever. Those would go in the uh, spoiler channel on Discord. Um, Paxi, holy shit! Thank you for the gifted subs. That's fifty-one total gifted subs. Um, in this community, holy cow! La Liz and Yandere both get subs. Okay, so one third of an umbilical cord. The Great Relic, also known as the Cord of the Eye, every infant Great One has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every Great One loses its child, then yearns for a surrogate. This cord granted Mensis audience with Mergo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. That is a nonsensical sentence at this point in the game. Used to gain insight, and so they say, eyes on the inside, though no one remembers what that truly entails. No one... Mensis is a person and not just a ritual, is what this tells me. Mensis, audience with Mergo. What I have written down here is that the Mensis ritual must be staffed before we all become beasts. I think that last part is a little bit of my own assumption. Mensis is a person. I'm going to take a photo of this one because it feels important enough that I'll just have it on my phone. Um, chat, what did the... What did the... This is definitely different dialogue than the first third of an umbilical cord. I guess I'm going to ask front seat question... If somebody wants to look it up, that's great. If not, it's okay, too. Um, what did the first third of an umbilical cord say? Front seat question, what did it say? Thank you, Vodka. Every great one loses its child in years for circuit. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. And I got it after Rom? Question mark? Front seat question? No. After what? Uh, feel free to answer. After who? Did I get the first third? Was it after the... Um... Who was it after? It was just in the IRL Hunter's Dream workshop. So I just... I didn't get it from a boss. I just found it there. Interesting. Her goes wet nurse one. I mean, no matter what happens, we got progress for the rest of the day, you know? Today's stream, call it progress. I feel like the hardest boss of the entire game is the lore. Just me? Poof. Thank you, chat. Thank you for the front seat. This lore got hands. This lore definitely has hands. Somebody said uh, the interesting thing about this boss. Performing Nerd says this boss is interesting. It looks super creepy and intimidating. Its attacks can deal a lot of damage. At the same time, it's fairly easy to defeat. It was also my only one shot. Sorry, I want to actually eat that. No, 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 no. I want to eat that. I've eaten one. At this point, I'm doubling down. At this point, we're going in deep. We're eating the third. Oh, yummy. It says use. It doesn't say eat. But it sure as fuck looks like you're eating it. No? Maybe it doesn't? It kind of, it kind of looks like we're eating it. Thanks for the lurk, Serenia. Mm, okay. Well... Well, oh, I wonder if there's two elevators here. After ever since we did this one elevator trick, I kind of want to do it again. You know, one where you do that and then hope for a second elevator to come down. 
Nope, didn't work. I've never played Bloodborne, so I'm creeped the fuck out right now. I am also creeped the fuck out right now, Iarora. I didn't see if you uh, said any more about where you're from or anything, or... Uh... What have you been watching on YouTube, uh, EA Aurora, if you don't mind me asking? Speaking of well, we're not going back there, chat. Not right now. I think we're probably headed back to Abriatus. I don't know that there's anything else in this area. Um, we could do the opposite one where we send it up and then see if there's anything down. Is there anything down here, chat, front seat? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I think we're probably done with this area. Looks safe to me with my 130,000 echoes. You really want those echoes to spawn down there? Looks safe to me. Are there any other elevators in the game that do that thing? Where you do this? Oh, I almost fell off. Uh, Aurora says, I just finished your Outer Wild series. Watched a lot of, uh, watched a bit of Breath of the Wild. Midwest represent. I love it. Good choice. Have you played uh, Hollow Knight, Aurora? You found them all? Okay, great. I can save us all the sanity of me trying to run back and do that to all of them. I guess I can check. I guess I can cross off the kill kid slash calm kid off the to-do list. I don't know that I technically killed the kid. I think maybe the wet nurse did. I can't exactly interpret that cutscene. I think maybe... Maybe the wet nurse arrives there. I think the kid had already kind of been killed. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Kill kid slash calm kid is a wild sentence. Yeah, welcome to a wild game. And now it leaves checking on Yosefka. Uh, I can check off second floor of lecture building. I also have Upper Cathedral Ward on here. I think that is from forever ago. There was a lantern right there. Why did I come down all the way here to do the lantern? I played a bit of Hollow Knight, but want to finish it myself before watching it. My next suggestion was going to be uh, to play Hollow Knight yourself. Oh, what the fuck? What? Oh my god. Dan is standing there like things are so normal right now. Dan is the definition of the this is fine. Thanks. Janice, what's up? Good hunter, you have come. I'm sad, actually. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Aww. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Okay. Just a reminder, Chad, as we approach the ending of this game, um... We take blind playthroughs pretty seriously. Uh, what that means is, truly, I, I want to learn nothing from the comments. I don't want to be, uh, I, I want this game to be authentically, organically blind. That means I want to go into things reacting, the, reacting to them with what I know or with what I forget. Uh, with my imperfect knowledge of this game, with my super imperfect uh, interpretation of the game, 
Um, as we approach the ending, I think, I don't know that we'll get it today, but maybe, um, I would, I'll do my best to talk through what I'm thinking. I'll ask front seat questions where I have them, and I'll probably ask quite a few of them because uh, I care about trying to do the best that I can with what I have. And also, did we do follower only mode? I think we're on follower only mode. Um, I think. Double check. Yeah, we're on. Thanks, public. Good reminder. Um, and, and yeah, this makes me think a lot of things. German is waiting at the tree. Uh, the night shall end, and therefore the dream shall end. My understanding of that is, if we have ended the Mensis ritual, which involved Murgo the kid and Mensis the great one, question mark, then that should mean the eternal night is now no longer eternal. The source of the skirt of the, uh, I think the source of this, the source of the, the source of the scourge, which turns people into um, beasts or ma makes them more beastly, uh, should be done. Meaning we're approaching the end, and this is probably very. This is the the world. The like world of this dream is falling apart. Uh, I'm guessing that means we have very little time left with Janice. It sounds like we have very little time. One one chance left to talk to German. Um, German. Um, that's got. A, that means a lot of the thought in a lot of thoughts in my head about this. First off, I got to get my levels while I can. Uh, got to get my my levels while I can. I think. I also, this is the place I travel from. And so it makes me, if if the hub of how I travel is going away, then I'm nervous about that. Uh, the thing left in my mind is go see Yosefka, go travel to uh, uh, to go defeat Abriatus, um, which I'll need reminding exactly where that is. We're gonna take it a step at a time. Holy shit. What happened in the last minute? Janice left the, the stove on. That's my new headcanon is Janice left the stove on. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. <laughs> they course your veins. The root of the, or the, uh, the foot of the great tree. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Can I get some little in the hearts in the chat for Janice? Oh. I'm gonna miss you so much. I don't know that it's actually this soon that you're leaving, but I think it might be. I'm gonna have enough for two levels. I no 55. Yeah, yeah, two levels. Take one vitality, one endurance. Actually, with the amount of kin, cold blood, cold blood kin that I have, it might be even more. Farewell, good hunter. Farewell, Janice. May you find your worth in the waking world. That one hits different for maybe the last time. May you find your worth in the waking world. Aww. FromSoft Games lore is like deciphering the damn Bible, which is crazy because I've read the entire Bible cover to cover twice and it made a lot more sense to me than this game did. Uh, what? Uh, we're gonna use all of our cold blood can right now. Gamma I, that was the wrong button. At the foot of the great tree. Go on, good hunter. Farewell, good hunter. Farewell, good hunter. May you find is your that, worth in the world. That's the question, though, world. Janice. Am I a good hunter? Am I good? I don't know. I don't know, Janice. I killed a kid. I also ate an umbilical cord. Two of them, actually. I mean, two thirds of an umbilical cord. Okay, I'm gonna get at least one level here. Sounds good, Uzai. Thanks for being here. Good to see you today. Eighty thousand. It's not going to be enough for more than one. Gammon awaits you, at the foot of the great oh, tree. Janus. Go on, good hunter. Can you, can I get one more? What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. I thought you said Gannon awaits you. <laughs> Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. 
Okay, we'll take one more strength level. 32s across the board on those three. All right. Farewell, good hunter. Can I go in? <laughs> I love that the whole the whole place is on fire. You can still go in, fuck up the books, repair your stuff. <laughs> Let me repair my weapons real quick. Oh, that's funny. Fire everywhere. I wonder if we'll have new items to uh new items to buy. Any of these places. And then of course I think I'm gonna Oh Chat, I have a question for you. Front seat question, I think. Let me think about how I want to phrase it first, uh, before I do anything else. Interesting. I can buy a blood rock. Let me think about how I phrase it. Your honor, I did it for the vine. Uh, okay. Here's what I'm nervous about. And then I'll ask the question at the end of it, okay? Here's what I'm nervous about. Not nervous bad, just nervous because I'm a nervous fucking person. Uh... I'm nervous that when I go speak to German, that is a point from which there is no return. And I will not be able to go fight a Briatus, go visit Yosefka. That feels like it might be a point from which there is no return. I guess that's what I'm asking. Front seat question. Is German a point of no return? Yes or no? Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to try this. Okay, so am I correct in thinking I should go fight a Briatus? Yes or no? Front seat question. If I would like to fight a Briatus. I'm, I'm guessing there's a way to go back and do it again later, but I'm guessing at this point that means I should go fight a Briatus. Okay, cool. All right. So here's the next thing on my mind. Uh, 60 insight lets you buy a blood rock, which I don't, I don't have, which lets me upgrade right, uh, right there, Palash. I don't know that I have 60 insight. Oh, hell yeah, I do. I think if I take all of these, that puts me at 59 and then I use one of the other ones. I mean, at this point I should just do that. So here's my new plan. New plan is this. I'm going to, uh... Buy a blood rock, upgrade right through Palash, check the uh, check the uh, thing down there to purchase something there potentially, and uh, from there go fight a Briatus. Uh, that is my current plan, and also actually probably go check on Yosefka first because I keep forgetting to do it, and I should do it if I'm going to do it. Right, so Palash has been upgraded, which I think makes it a... Yeah, it's no longer on this list, so I think that's as upgraded as it gets. Cool. I'm nervous, chat. I'm nervous. This is exciting, though. All right, do I have any items here that I have unlocked by... Um, these are rhetorical questions. By defeating any of the stuff I just did. I should probably use all my insight to also buy other items, but maybe I could do that later. Lore video is going to be crazy when you watch it. Ah! I like how you left one insight so that you'll still see Janice. Oh, that's not what I was... I didn't think about that, but that's... I mean, yeah, that's exactly why I did it. Exactly why I did it. Okay. Uh, I think the way to get to Yosefka... <laughs> one way is to go here. So let's go here. Videos plural starting with Danny... Or starting with uh, uh, Maxor.
What's the other name? There's a uh, one that starts with a V, I think. That people are always saying. Okay, let's go see what Yosef is up to. See if she's still freaking out on the thing. It's been so long since I visited her. I hope I remember what her dialogue was like. Fati, there you go. Fati Vidya. <clears throat> Oh, Yosefka! Honey, I'm home! He is here. Okay. God, I'm nauseous. Have I think this is the same this? dialogue. It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. This is the, like, religious moment. It proves that I'm chosen. The, like... Don't you see how they writhe? Writhe inside yep. my head. Still be writhing. It's rather... Still be writhing. Rapturous. Uh, the rapture moment. <laughs> Do you Ooh. know when you plan on playing Dark Souls? Thank you for the five bits shift line. Uh, I hope to play Dark Souls 1 after this. It won't be immediately afterwards, though. I'll take a break before I uh, pop back into a FromSoft game. Chat, front seat question. Yes or no? Have we attempted to kill Yosefka in this moment? I believe what we did was we left Yosefka so that she might maybe come out of it. Ryan, do you know when you plan on playing Cuphead? Never. I mean, uh, uh, someday. I thought you were going to say Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, okay. Great question, Shifline. Um, I don't know exactly. But I'll do Dark Souls 1 after this at some point. Hmm. This is one of those moments where, and I wouldn't have it any other way, but I need to make a decision. Do I want to try and kill Yosefka here? The major thing on my mind is I have two thirds of a umbilical cord signifying like these moments where great one contact is possible and I kind of feel like a Briatus might give you one but maybe not and also maybe Yosefka would give you one it seems like a very obvious sign that you should try to get all three if they're all called one third so I don't know uh Pexy thank you for the gifted sub to uh Svenicus. definitely a rhetorical question big old rhetorical question um please no uh No thoughts on that. I think she's, at this point, I don't think she's getting better. I think I'm going to try and kill her. And I know this is like Ryan kills all the NPCs, but like, I think I'm going to try it. Okay, I whiffed. I missed. Uh... R.I.P. Yosefka. One of the very compelling secrets of this game to me. The fact that there is a person behind the door who acts so sane and nice and then isn't. <gasps> Let's go! Oh, I'm so proud of myself in this moment. F? No Fs in the chat. No RIPs or 07s or Rudes. I'm so proud of myself. That's three. Oh, man. I was like, this is either going to be another moment where Ryan kills a fucking NPC who he shouldn't, or this is going to be <clears throat> the moment where we get this. A great relic, also known as the Cord of the Eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Provost Willem sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of a great one by lining his brain with eyes. The only choice he knew if man were to ever match their greatness. These moments where like he regular humans attempt more, attempt to become more. Oh. 
Of all the NPCs he attacked, this one he debated about so much. The one NPC I should have definitely attacked the minute the the rapturous stuff started happening. Mark, do you feel different now? Do you feel different, homie? Do you feel different, my man? No? Do you have brains inside your eyes inside of your brains? No? She was cute, Sag. Okay. Uh, hey, we're going to call it a YouTube episode there and take a short little break. This is just to show my brother that I can and, do whatever uh, I want, lol. Thank you for the 100 bits. What a pilot. We'll take a YouTube break there and we'll call it an episode. Hey, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to like or comment or subscribe or, or what a, any of that jazz.